Hello Virgo, it's time for your beginning of November read for this current year. I draw this card for you. I was actually in the middle of your video and my husband decided to keep interrupting me to the point where like I had only gotten like three sentences out and it became like close to like 15 minutes of him fucking talking and shit. So that's your card, Perchance the Dream, Virgo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away you go. Right? But your card is Perchance to Dream. Right? So let's see. Number 28. Okay. And I was already reading through this and the grammar just started getting to me. So excuse me if it sounds funky. Right? If I sleep long enough... When I wake up, the pain will have been gone. Which is like, I, I don't, I don't understand, like, will have been, honestly, shouldn't it be like, will be? You know, I mean, I would think that, not just been gone, but it will be gone, you know? I mean, like, how, I don't know. It's just like, how long are you gonna sleep before, like, you don't even realize that it's been gone, you know? But whatever. The visuals, oh yeah. The new moon phase, it's a new moon, and the stage is denial, right? The visual seed, a crowned, naked man is reclining, his eyes closed and his body dissolving in the wind. Another man holds him gently. Behind them, a circle of brass rise, risen by thin, silvery threads. Okay. Sentenced. To die, to sleep, to perchance a dream. Perchance to dream, or dot dot dot. Going dark, it's time to surrender. To drown, to dive in headfirst in the cozy, all enveloping darkness of the blanket. It is a moment of weakness, a desire to close your eyes and surrender for just one moment, one second, one minute. Not like an hero, God, a hero. They literally have an hero, as if like. And H is a vowel. I don't know why. But anyway. Uh, not like a hero fighting the world, but like a kid just welcoming the darkness outside within. Fully. How long will that moment last? A minute? We can say just a minute, but it's not true. This appearing is but an instant. Just the time to take a breath twice. And yet it can take ages. Ages we will regret? Ages that we will have lost, like st stolen by our own surrendering, and yet we close, and yet we close our eyes. We let one sense after the other slow down to nothing. Sight first, then hearing and smell. Last will be touch, the comforting hand we all deserve to hold us up when we have done enough, and we cannot but let. And we cannot. Oh my god. Why would they put... Okay. And we cannot let it go. Because I'm not going to read that the way it's written. Because that makes no sense. Anyway, that's your card, Virgo. Wow, that ending was kind of like choppy. Anyway, let's go over your read. Right? Right. So. You just want to sleep the pain away. Sleep the pain away. Okay. But not in that way, but in actual genuine sleep. You'd rather sleep itself away. That's crazy. Let's see, Virgo, what's going on? We got justice reversed. Someone's not being entirely fair. It could be Libra, you know? We got the situation with the Ten of Pentacles over yonder. The wants and wishes is the Ace of Pentacle. Upright. Ah. Uh, the obstacle and challenge is this King of Cups right here. Just feel goods. The fear is a rejection is the herb, but that's your card, Virgo. So are you hiding from yourself? Are you afraid to look at what's actually out there for you? Because the catalyst as well as the final result, how this shit will come full circle, is a page of wands. We got you, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, all up on this board so far. <coughs> Someone said something dirty and it might have been with this King of Cups. Either that or you're trying to learn how to uh, deal with your goddamn feelings, Virgo. 
openly and that's got you freaked out a little bit in the situation with the home you feel like you know you're always doing shit for other people and here's this opportunity that I think you want to run full force into but you got to go with your feelings first which freaks you the fuck out a little bit you know Okay. Okay. So let's see. So, Virgo, this fucking justice reverse. Could be bad karma, could be like, is something not working in your favor in either a system of some sort? It's Libra's card, so it could also be a really jaked Libra. Uh, something to do uh, with you, probably. That's the Queen of Pentacles right there. She's got her back turned. Um, probably to somebody who put her in a third party. Hmm. all these Bettys. Like, we're gonna, there might be somebody who, um, you don't know has a bunch of Bettys. And you are not a Betty. That actually gets on your nerves a little bit, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, like, with this situation with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, everyone's playing games, everyone's having fun. Except for the dude, he's now a table. You know, he's holding up everything, so he's everybody's table, right? Uh, that leaves this person a very, very, very sour, childish kind of vibe, right? It's like, um, feeling like you're only good enough to be furniture has left you feeling a little bit bitter and shit. It doesn't feel like things are starting with the new sun the way it's supposed to. And you're definitely not idolizing the person you used to as well. In fact, you're starting to notice that this King of Cups right here has been in the shadows. It's probably been a dick the entire time. Like, not a big dick, but like a dick dick. Like, dick dick dick. Anyway. You're it's actually an animal called a dick dick. I can't remember the cartoon where I learned that that thing existed. I think it was like some wrestler whose superpower was a fart or something. I can't remember. I was a child. Anyway, um, but I remember I learned that it was a dick dick because of that cartoon. And I thought, like, it was wrong. So we went around saying dick dick all over the house and there's nothing our parents can do about it. Okay. Hmm. You know, someone's really indecisive about what to do emotionally because, like, they feel like not doing anything would be a complete disaster. You know, because, like, idolizing will make them a bit of a junkie and they don't want to betray themselves that way, I feel like. Or they don't want to be betrayed by somebody who's potentially, um, you know, that thirsty, you know? But at least they recognize that idolizing another person is, like, what harmed themselves to begin with. <clears throat> yeah, betrayed in the throes of your ecstasy, if you will. And now, there's a lot of hesitation with moving forward after all these hurt feelings. Or someone just being all in their feelings. The wants and wishes with the Ace of Pentacles. Brand new opportunity with a lot of power. Someone needs to run to that shit. They are, but it's back there somewhere. Back in there. This night I even try to go fight this dragon. Uh. Ooh. What? Oh, hold up. Okay. This wands and whistles with the Ace of Pentacles. This could be the Libra I was talking about. Also, Gemini and Aquarius, right? You want them to have an opportunity to rush in and make themselves look like the bad guy? Because these dudes are all raising sticks to this guy like, we don't fucking like your kind around here. What? But I'm the hero. We don't like you. I killed the dragon. The dragon was what heated us during the fucking winter. Now I have to go to electricity and pay bills, you prick. Get out. <laughs> 
Because, you know, I always think the Ace of Pentacles is like, that's literally a dragon. Like, this dragon is giving you an offer to utilize its power for whatever you need to. And I feel like you're almost hoping someone will rush in and squander that shit and have everybody turned against it. Like, are you hoping somebody gets an opportunity with a Betty, rushes for that shit, and then gets caught during? Hmm. Virgo. Obstacles and challenges coming against you. This king of cups, right? He uses his intuition. Um, he knows things. He ain't saying shit. He's keeping it hidden by the light of the moon. I'll punish you. I'm sorry, I thought a uh, uh, Sailor Moon, my bad. You know. They also know that, like, not starting something new will lead to disaster. It's like in the back of your head, you know. Or at least in the back of his head, he knows. You know? Obstacle and challenge is, like... Keep in mind, not doing anything will lead to a disaster. Uh, you have that inkling in the back of your head. But I feel like... Hmm... I'm trying one more, Virgo, because it's like, you are like, straight up. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Virgo, what is this? Like, who are you hoping... Virgo and or cross watcher switch where you need to. I feel like that there's somebody who fucked you over, and now you're hoping that they get fucked up back. You're just hoping. Like, I really hope this motherfucker gets an STD and everybody finds out about it. I swear to God, I will be so happy, right? You know, it's one of those things, you know? Where you're just like, I, I, I just want them to come home and accidentally run over their own cat, you know? It, which is a fucked up thing to think, but you do you, right? But it's like you know that the lack of action will cause a disaster. It's probably gonna leave you a bit like uncomfortable trying to do anything or talk about anything. Um, it's like you're kind of banking that this person will fuck it up. You know? The Hermit. You don't feel like yourself, you're afraid to say. Since that is your card. Mmm. To the point where you might be coming off as a spoiled brat, man. A little bit childish. Virgo, I think you're looking at everything but yourself. And the one thing you're not looking at is, um... You know, why are you so obsessed with taking somebody else out, and yet it's still leaving you feeling emotionally not yourself and a little bit like a child acting, you know? Let me turn on this living room light, because I can't see shit. Okay, that's better. Sorry, I just, if it's dark on that side of the house, I can't fucking see. But yeah, Virgo, it's almost like you don't want to admit that, like, maybe, just maybe, you're not emotionally grounded, I'll say, to be nice. So now you're kicking and screaming about what you think is right and correct, even though that's really, it, it, that it's not about the rightness and correctness. It's more about, you know, like, you kind of want revenge, which, you know, no one will ever tell anybody this, but revenge is way more acceptable than forgiveness, you know? Getting people back is what brings satisfaction. Like, everyone will be like, oh, no, um, forgiveness is where, the way to go or you'll never heal yourself. Bullshit! You know, healing isn't about, like, making sure so that you aren't worried about somebody else. Because that's not how it works. Like, revenge is actually what brings that relief, right? Because there's something in your brain that's just, like, it fucks with you. It bothers you. It's like watching a bitch you don't like eat fries. It just drives you fucking crazy. It's something about this person that's just, like, they need to be fucking reminded of what the right thing to do is. You know, you just kind of lose your mind just a little bit about that. The Virgo. I will say, you're at a point with the obsession of, like, everybody has an, a, an obsession with revenge, right? I had. I had it for three fucking years. 
because of somebody who did me wrong, but I never acted on it. But it was just like, I can't wait for them to get their karma and then leave me the fuck alone, right? And the thing was, it was like, I didn't lose that sense of being wrong until I got away from that person right and that's really the second most helpful thing the minute that like you get away from a place where someone basically i feel like used your emotions against you or drove you crazy to the point where you thought revenge was the right answer right this if you get away from that person and get to a much more cleaner healthier environment all of those emotions and all those thoughts and all those feelings are going to go away because you're not going to have a reminder of what that person did or said you know that like if you if you get a new fucking house you don't have to deal with your shitty neighbors anymore it's one of those things right so it's like i think you need to get away from your fucking person before they drive you to be on a serial killer list because there are a lot of Virgos on a serial killer list. Well, there's more Gemini than there are Virgo, but still, Virgo's on there, so. Let's look, someone ate improperly with their spoon or some shit. <laughs> Alright, how this shit will start out, it'll end, Virgo. Page of Wands. Your movement it causes change. Because you don't want to be a fool anymore. You don't want to perform in front of people. Well, you're performing now. Hmm. Wait, what? <coughs> Put this bucket right here, because damn it, Janet, I love you. Okay. It's like you're rushing back to say something, not anything mean, but you got something to say in order to change this dynamic where you feel like you're always putting on a show for other people, basically, for a gal. Oh my god. Ugh. So my husband finally forced me to take medicine, and I was like, oh my god, okay, whatever. Ugh. I'm like fever for fucking days. <laughs> but that's because I ain't had a flu shot in a couple years, so that was my own bad. Ugh. It was bad. Okay, so let's see, y'all. Up top with energy. Yeah, someone, like, got drunk and fell off their horse, and now they're bringing muddy water down the goddamn river to you, Virgo. Being like, here, baby, I got you to drink. Why is there dead fish in it and rocks? Oh, well, that's just the aesthetic. You know? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, that was gross. Anyway. Yeah. It's in that kind of week. Ooh. Mm. <coughs> yeah, don't be letting this motherfucker bring you some mud water, because he's going to use that as an excuse to fuck with you. In not nice way. He's not a nice neighbor. He comes up on his horse, stabbing people to the point where even his horse is looking back at him, trying to figure shit out. Just being like, bro, what the fuck? We just moved here. <laughs> like, totally, ugh. Like, watch out with your energy where it's like, you know. This person wants to come in and do shit, and then, like, they come in for an attack. Be very careful with that. Because, like, you're definitely picking up that kind of shit. Don't let a drunk motherfucker come into your yard because they might beat your ass for no reason. Claiming that they give a shit. I'd be surprised the side of his face is scraped up, too, for falling off that horse and the horse is taking off for a minute. Like, dude got drunk and then just went in and decided to start stabbing folk. You know? With the situation, there's not a lot of fairness in this, you know? Yeah, and, and you're definitely to the point where you're just, like, sabotaging shit, Virgo. You're just like, you know what? Fuck it. Come here, Bison. We're rubbing this all over you. We're going to put this near your booty hole. We're just going to get a nice scent on there, and then we're just going to send it packing. You know, it's like, there's a lot of, um... Mmm. 
It's like this young man who's giving you shit and doesn't know that it's you. You're giving that shit back with ten times the amount of bullshit. You know? It's like you're using your bull as a detector. Like, this is an authentic gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wants and wishes. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like there's a lot of unfairness going on, but you're not helping the situation either. Like, Virgo, you, like, honestly, Virgo, you guys don't give a damn. If someone starts fucking with you, you usually, like, they're just like, oh, okay, I guess I'm playing. Like, you're one of the signs who will just uh, throw down without even thinking about it, you know? Up top, yeah, like, definite disconnection here. Not seeing eye to eye with this person. Mm. Are you both confused about who's saving who here? <laughs> you know, because you're kind of hoping this dude runs in and fucks up the dragon, fucking his own chances up. But it's like you both didn't share that world and now someone's saving the other. But who's saving who here? What the fuck does that even mean? Ah, let's see. Ah, uh, okay, they're acting. Okay, you guys can't meet eye to eye because dude here thinks that he's your savior, but you see it as like he's just treating you like yeah, this is the page of pentacles. But I don't think this is you, Virgo. I think this is like your person or whatever. They treat you like a fucking no. They act like you don't know better. And you're kind of annoyed, like, uh, like they, it's not that they underestimate your intelligence, they purposely make you feel like you're fucking stupid. And I think that makes you more angry than anything. Okay, over here with the obstacle and challenge, yeah, you're gonna have to look really deep and uh, cling on to some shit that, like, you'd rather not deal with, you know, like, it, hold on to that inner beast, right? I think you need the strength to understand that um, this person isn't like a reflection of you. You know, it's not. Like you have the strength, you have the fortitude, you have the means, you have the desire to uh, be secure with yourself and yourself alone. Like strength is the card of Leo, which is all, and that's the sign all about the self, the sun, the ego. Well, I don't know, like, cause like Aries got a lot of fucking ego, but Leo does too, you know, like, what was it my husband said once? Um, I don't need anger management. I need people to stop pissing me off. You know, that kind of energy, right? Um, so in all honesty, Virgo, like... You kind of need to accept the self and understand that it's okay to be a lion sometimes. But your savagery needs to be quelled and hugged like a kitty. Don't choke the kitty, though. Like, the kitty didn't do anything wrong. You should be happy it doesn't bite in your face. Alright, fears and rejections of Virgo. Yeah, maybe overindulging. Feeling like you were doing more like a slave than a servant. And that shit kept you stalled for a really long time. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> It's like, um... It's like... You trying to take care of them became like really fucked up. It, it made you feel like you're stuck a little bit, you know. Um, kind of like with trauma bonding with people, you know. Like when someone's done you wrong for so long and then you're able to get away from them. You know, you kind of get into this weird phase where it's like, oh my god, I actually miss what happened. Even though it like kept me in a really shitty position. And that's because it's like that's what you knew for the longest time. And it just takes a while to adjust. I feel like you're afraid of that adjustment, but if you try it and you just stick with it, I guarantee you it won't be a problem six months from when you, well, uh, well, I'll give it a, well, we'll start with six months because that's when it really starts going crazy. And then another six months after that, so like a year. First six months, you might lose your shit. A after that, you'll probably be okay. But I, I guarantee you, you will be better off just going with that route because in the end, it'll make you feel a whole lot better. You know? The catalyst and finally the result. 
Might want to run home to daddy. Mm -hmm. It's the being in this relationship. You'd rather go back to where you came from than and separate and leave from this shit right here. Because it doesn't do you any good. You know, like you're going back to be like, hey, I'm not gonna be your fool. I'm not gonna be a fool. I've been a fool of this relationship. And it's like you just end up going back to whence you came and separating completely. So that's probably why you perchance to dream. Virgo, that's your reading. So I will see you guys later. If you enjoyed this, you may like, share, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. You don't have to. You don't want to, though. But I will see you guys later. Love your face. Bye.